hi and welcome to show us classes today we are going to be solving some advanced question on econometrics some face trouble in this field so we are there to help them you can call whatsapp at the number given on the screen for doubts or full videos on our courses to measure the elasticity of substitution between capital and labor inputs arrow shinery mini has and solo the authors of the now famous constant elasticity of substitution production function use the following model log vyl equals log beta 1 plus beta 2 log w plus u the simple meanings are given of out here now the coefficient b2 measures the elasticity of substitution between labor and capital that is proportional change in factor proportions or proportion change in relative factor prices now from the data given in table 6.8 you have to verify that the estimated elasticity is 1.338 and that it is not statistically significantly different from 1 the values will be given in the description below now analyzing those values log v by l equals minus 0 0.4526 plus 1.3338 log w standard error equals to 1.3515 into 0 0.4470 or r square equals to 0 0.4070 to test the null hypothesis we use the t test t equals to 1.3338 minus 1 0 0.4470 which equals to 0 0.7468 now for 13 degrees of freedom the 5 percent critical t value is equal to 2.16 no, notice it's a two tail test therefore we do not reject the hypothesis that is the true elasticity of sus substitution between capital and labor is 1. Now considering this data in table 7.5 which I have now put on the screen y is given as 138, x2 as 123 and x0 as x3 as 21 and minus 3. Based on the data we have to estimate 1, 2 and 3. Now, let's calculate alpha 1 hat first. This is equals to minus 3. Alpha 2 hat equals to 3.5. Lambda 1 hat equals to 4. Lambda 2 hat equals to minus 1.357. Beta 1 cap equals to 2 and beta 2 cap equals to 1 whereas beta 3 cap equals to minus 1 now based on this we find the following answers a is a2 equals to b2 beta 2 y or y naught let's see no alpha 2 is not equals to beta 2 Given that the model 3 is the true model, alpha 2 is the biased estimator of beta 2. That is, we write alpha 2 biased estimator of beta 2 
cap now number b is lambda 3 equals to beta 3 what do you think no that's because it's simple you cannot see lambda 3 on the screen that's because lambda 3 is a biased estimator of beta 3 for the same reason as earlier over here the lesson here is that misspecifying an equation can lead to biased estimation of the parameters of the true model let's see another question if the relation alpha 1 x 1 plus alpha 2 x 2 plus alpha 3 x 3 equals to 0 holds true for all values of x 1 x 2 and x 3 we need to find the values of the three partial correlation coefficients the equations can be written as x1 equals to minus alpha 2 by alpha 1 x2 plus minus alpha 3 by alpha 1 x3 or x2 equals to minus alpha 1 by alpha 2 into x1 plus minus alpha 3 by alpha 2 x3 or x3 or x3 equals to minus alpha 1 by alpha 3 into x1 plus minus alpha 2 by alpha 3 x2 therefore the partial regression coefficients would be as follows beta 1 2 dot 3 equals to minus alpha 2 by alpha 1 beta 1 3 dot 2 equals to minus alpha 3 by alpha 1 beta 2 1 dot 3 equals to minus alpha 1 by alpha 2 beta 2 3 dot 1 equals to minus alpha 2 by alpha 3 beta 3 1 dot 2 equals to minus alpha 1 by alpha 3 beta 3 2 dot 1 equals to minus alpha 2 by alpha 3 now recalling a very familiar formula r 1 2 dot 3 equals to root beta 1 2 dot 3 into beta 2 1 dot 3 which equals root over minus alpha 2 into minus alpha 1 let me erase that whole divided by alpha 1 into alpha 2 this equals to root 1 thus r 1 2 dot 3 is equals to plus minus 1 and this is what is what the question has asked for thus with that we come to the end of our last question please like subscribe and press on the notification button Contact us at the given number for any doubt or more videos on our courses.